otherwise it's just like you're exploring the astral sea in a really vague way that doesn't make any meaningful sense to the majority of people that are going to play this game so uh yeah this spell just doesn't work it's not even that like it's bad it just doesn't function so also can you use gate to go to the astral plane sure can Hello friends, Robert Bevan here, author of the Caverns of Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels and short stories with me is Sam West, and today we're breaking down our picks for the top five, and one worst, level nine. There's the camera, there it is. Level nine, Warlock Spells. Professional. I like how about a Zoom call with my grandma. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, these are the very top end Mystic Arcanums that you get. You get one of these, unlike regular spellcasters. You don't prepare spells or learn spells and then cast them with spell slots. No, you're a warlock. You do things worse. So you get one ninth level spell that you cast using your Mystic Arcanum. And it cannot be changed. And you cannot pick three and choose one when the time is right. No, you pick one, you lock it in, that's it forever. So I'm okay it. with that. This with this list, yeah. I uh I've got I've got my pick for the the one I'm always going to pick, and then I picked four more because I had to meet the the standards of this list. I'm genuinely interested to see which one is your always pick because there's like three that I would consider putting on a character sheet, and then the rest are spells that offend the sight and sound or sight and smells to me. I'm not a fan of most of these, and I know some people are a fan of one of the ones that I'm going to talk about that I don't want to talk about. So, uh, well, yeah, then I'll go first. Uh, I'll s scratch that curious itch. Um, yeah, I could not pick Psychic Scream. Oh, that's the one? That's your number one? Okay, yeah, sure. My number is my number two. No, I just love it. You know, just the idea of psychically screaming at somebody in there, and their head explodes. <laughs> that's the part that really gets you. It yeah. could be like, it does 1d6 damage, but if they die, their head explodes, you'd be like... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that might dissuade me, but um, no, but it does a, a decent chunk of damage. And I, I just love that it's in the text that their head explodes if you kill them with this. I know. I know that's what makes you... I, we haven't mentioned that it stuns things, which is the meat of the spell, because 14d6 damage sure isn't enough. But stunning them and doing 14d6 damage is. Yeah. That's even better. It's way better. And if you do happen to kill something, it's head explodes. Now, if I tell you that 14d6 damage translates roughly... Oh, I have to do quick math. It's 7 for 2, so it's... Uh, 49 damage is does that worsen your opinion of it or raise your opinion on it um i don't I, to be honest i don't care that's fair i i really am in this for the exploding head i respect that sometimes you're in for the aesthetic and this is definitely a spell that has a great aesthetic and the stun is genuinely fine yeah. this is a spell that i i don't like i don't ever expect you should think it is it's gonna be like game warpingly powerful or even like that efficient but it is going to be good enough whenever you get it that you'll have a fine time doing like, oh, this is my cool big thing, psychic scream. And everyone's stunned and their heads blow up, a couple of them. And the big bad goes, that was a eighth of my hit points. All right, let's keep going. Okay. Um, okay, now you want to tell us what should have been my number one? Free polymorph. It spells busted. Yes. <laughs> that's, if I was being responsible, that's what I would have picked. So good. You turn something into something else. It's amazing. Choose a creature. It turns into a creature. You turn an object into a creature. Turn a creature into an object. Just yeah. like you, you take the giant crack and you go, you're a coin now. And you pick it up and then you just toss it. And then you just let it be for an hour. And you're good. That solves the problem for an hour. Plus two. Yep. Um... Fun fact, if you concentrate on it for its full hour, it's just a, it's just a coin now. It doesn't get to turn back into anything else. If you finish the concentration oh, on this wow. thing, the change is permanent. I didn't realize that. That's That's pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to become a Kraken? Through Polymorph! No, but yeah, that's... I, I like to have that option on the table. No, we all. Just, I... <laughs> having the option to turn into a CR20 baddie is exactly where I want to be all the time. And through Polymorph has <laughs> my back for that. Alright, yeah, no argument that is the deserving of the number one number one spot, but uh, I'm still picking Psychic Scream every time. Yeah, sure. Alright, now... You just want to blow people's heads up. That, did yeah. you see uh, Kingsman's the movie with the finale where one's head explodes, right? No. Oh, you should go watch Kingsman. You'll enjoy it. All right. You like blowing up heads. Yeah. All right. The rest of these, I could really take or leave. Um, I, I put Blade of Disaster next. That's my number three. Yeah. Problem is it's concentration. And that's yeah. 
We talked about it in fifth level and below. Warlocks really care about what they're concentrating on because they do not have a lot of slots. And they that's a way to sort of expand your resource pools, have a long duration that I can continually use. Uh, Blade of Disaster if it's the same bucket. Now, it does crit on 18 or higher, so if you can get yeah, advantage of the things, you can do some cool stuff with it. It's a bonus action, so if you like... Warlocks normally aren't that hard-pressed to find ways to use their bonus action, but if you really are looking for one at this tier, this is a powerful one. Hmm. Is it worth your ninth level spell slot powerful? It only lasts a minute? Yeah. yeah I'm not the highest on this thing. A fight. Yeah. Bonus action cast time does make it a lot more palatable. Yeah. It also makes two spell attacks with the blade, right? So it hits twice, so you have two chances of getting the crit. Yeah, I mean, it's... I guess for a crit fishing warlock, then uh, this is definitely going to be something you want to invest in. I mean, this is, it just crit fishes itself. It doesn't yeah. interact with any other element of your build. So, like, Hexblades don't really care about this at all. But if you want to suddenly make two attacks around with your bonus action, this is two attacks around. Sometimes it'll do 18, 12 damage. Sometimes it'll do 16, 12 damage. Normally it'll do 18, 12 damage. So, like, you know, it's not the end of the world. It's just not remarkably as powerful as the other two options I think we've talked about. No, and, uh, and this is uh, it goes downhill from here. That's true. It does give a mind, giant middle finger to Wall of Force, which I think is kind of funny, because it can go through Walls of Force for some reason. So yeah, sure, why not? It's the one thing that's supposed, supposed to do, and it goes, nah. <laughs> Alright, what's next on your list? Uh, I have... I don't like any of these, though. I'm going to go with Imprisonment as my number four, I think. Let's see. Which is going to... I don't know. It probably doesn't yeah, deserve to be on mine. No, I, I picked imprisonment. That was my number five. It's just like the minute cast time is so awkward. But if you do get it off, sometimes you just be like sneakily shunt you into the abyss forever. Sometimes this is the big narrative set piece thing. And like if I am a warlock, I would ex be expecting like this is the top end of fantasy, right? Like, if you've been consulting with demons your whole career, this is a way you finally go, great, now I can put those demons in a very dangerous, sad, cold hole for the rest of their existence. Um, that is very thematically fitting to me. Yeah, but... Uh, but it, costs a minute. What, it takes a minute to cast. Oh, God, I didn't you, read let that. Me, let me ask you a question about this one. Um, well, let me look it up here. The, the component is a little statuette in the likeness of the target. Is that what you spend your minute doing, making that? Or do you have to have this ahead no, of time? you have to have that. So you have to know your target well ahead of the time that you want to cast this spell. Yeah, you're right. This should not be on my list. And it should be on yours either. <laughs> <laughs> but the competition, though. Look, I had a hard time picking a worst because there are like four that I could have picked. I'll call him an audible blob. We're going to say that it's your number four. And I'm going to pick a new one instead because you was on your list anyway, right? What did? You... No, I got one more. I got, I got my number four. All right. All right. Do your all next right. one because imprisonment was on your list. So we'll yeah. say that we, I have another one. Okay. Because I really don't think you should put imprisonment on a character sheet. I think you might put this over imprisonment on a character sheet. Go for it. What else I, you got? I picked Foresight. I know you don't like it, but hey, this is the list we're working with. And, uh, you know, it gives you advantage on everything. That's cool. Especially, you know, if you're... you're no, wait, you can't... I was going to say, if you're using it with your uh, Blade of Disaster, but Mystic Arcanum, uh, yeah. no. So this is the thing you take as a Warlock Eldritch Blaster. It is my number five, and I hate this thing. I think it's so boring. And the ninth level spell has no business being boring. But it does just go, oh, of my five attack rolls I'm making every turn, they're all at advantage. Yeah. I did it! Wee! That's not, not interesting to me. That. I hate this. I hate this spell so much, but uh, undoubtedly it is better than imprisonment. So I can't, <laughs> I can't knock it. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, yeah, we've, we've talked about foresight before. Um, got a video on it. We've got it mentioned several times in our, our other ranked spells. So what, uh, what would you like to choose over imprisonment? I'm going to take five. Gate instead. Gate? Gate's going to be my actual number five. So my, I'm true polymorph, psychic extreme, blade of disaster, foresight, gate. Now, is Gate, was? do we confirm, is that a, a Tasha's edition? No idea, but it it sure says Warlock optional, which I'm assuming means it was added in okay. Tasha's. All right. This is like, 
a really bad expensive teleport that I don't think you're going to want almost ever. But it does something, and I'm not convinced imprisonment does something. <laughs> and those are like the last two before I'm looking at a contenders for worst. So... I think we're going to go with gate because, like, you can do some cool portal stuff with it. Maybe you're, like, the conduit in another dimension and you just start firing things between realms. That could be right, cool. So, like, this is planar travel gate, right? Yeah. There are just already It has to be a different planar different... positions for what it's worth. Okay, but, yeah, there's, there's already a few different spells at lower level that can do this sort of thing, right? What's What's the difference with gate? Gate lasts a minute and lots of things can go through it where plane oh. shift has to take a set number of creatures. So like if you want to bring an army, you cast gate a couple of times. If you want to get 10 people, you cast plane shift. Okay. Should you ever cast gate? Probably not. But you only get one of these. If you want to do extra planar travel stuff and your other mystic arcanums you find are more valuable for some reason, uh, you could take gate as your ninth level spell. All right. You also, it does have the genuine, really fun warlock upside of you call someone to your position. So you'd be like, hey, Demon Lord Asmodeus that I've been working with this whole time, get over here. And then you just spawn them into the world using gate. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's probably better than imprisonment. Definitely better than imprisonment. I, I read imprisonment. I was like, okay, so at worst, this is just a bad banishment for a ninth level spell. And that's better than gate, right? And then you talk, then I looked, oh, minute cast time. And you're like, Sam, doesn't this, don't you need a figure of the person you're doing this to? And I'm like, yep, it's trash. You're right. Never mind. My bad. <laughs> Um, all right, that leaves us with uh, a few contenders for the worst. Yeah, what'd you go with? I went, like I said, I don't know if this one deserves it over the its competitors, but I went with weird because it makes me angry. It's 3d6 damage for a 9th level spell or some crap? <laughs> yes, something like that. Let's look it up. Each creature in the 30-foot radius sphere makes it a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, they are frightened for a minute. That takes your concentration. Uh, and then the illusion deals it 40, 10 psychic damage at the end of each of its turns. If it fails a wisdom saving throw. So it doesn't always do 40, 10 psychic damage. No. <laughs> All right. The, you know, uh, if yeah, I get awful. to ninth, life, ninth level spells and I get a, access to a spell called weird, I want it to do something weird. And like a, a third level fear and a, a potential little bit of psychic damage is not where I need my my ninth level spells to be. I'm confident there are real amounts of tables where somebody got this tier and they're like, you know, kind of along for the ride, just enjoying the game, just playing it more so than character building. They're not reading most of the spells they're taking. They're like, oh, that sounds cool. Slam it on their sheet. I think there will probably have been several players that went, oh, I'm absolutely taking weird. I don't even care what it does. It's called weird. It's got to be yeah. sweet. And they cast and they go, what happened? <laughs> not. What does this do? And they read it and they're like, what is this? What happened here? What has my why is this on my character sheet? I thought something really cool was supposed to happen. It's a ninth level spell. The wizard just made meteors rain from the sky. The wizard just stopped time. The wizard just threw polymorphed into a dragon. What it That I all even, sounds a lot weirder than what this does. Yeah, this is cause fear with up with like 40 10 psychic damage sometimes. It's awful. Truly, truly atrocious. Oh. It isn't the worst warlock ninth level spell, though. No, because it isn't, this spell doesn't function. It's called astral off. projection. Yes. That's that's <laughs> Notably, That's the one I should have picked. Honorable Perhaps. mention, Power Word Kill sure is on this list, and I also think that one ah. are one a, one a worst spell for us on some other list. That spell is also horrendous, but yeah, Astral I Projection hate... like just isn't a spell. So... Weird makes me so angry that I put it worse than a Power Word spell. Those also That's make you bad. angry. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Astral Projection is a way to get you and the party killed from a <laughs> well, an all-knowing uh, enemy, which is you're probably what you're going against. Because you'll go like, oh, let's go explore the Astral for some reason. And then your DM goes, but the adventure. And then everyone goes, no, DM, we want to go to the Astral journey. <laughs> and then they become spiteful and cut the cords and everyone dies. And you're like, ha, screw your 18 levels. You didn't listen to me. You're dead now. That's the most the com most common use case I think you're going to get out of this thing. Because otherwise, it's just like you're exploring the astral sea in a really vague way that doesn't make any meaningful sense to the majority of people that are going to play this game. So, uh, yeah, this spell just doesn't work. It's not even that like it's bad. It just doesn't function. So, Also, can you use gate to go to the astral plane? Sure can! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you, you don't have, uh, you know, these uh, very vulnerable cords yep. that yep. can have your soul snipped away. Yeah, this was um, truly, truly awful. I gotta. I uh, moral of the story is like most of the warlock ninth level spells are dookie, despite the fact that there are nine of them, which is more than a lot of other lists. Pick somewhere uh, in our top three. If you really like Blade of Disaster, why not? If you really like Foresight, 
fine. But more likely to take triple polymorph or something extreme. You'll have a great time. Yeah. Um, but astral projection, weird, and uh, we might as well. We haven't talked about power word kill. We might as well cover it because we covered every other one. That's true. Why is that also the worst? So it only kills things that have less than a hundred hit points. Yes, and, and you're that's such... ninth level spells. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I honestly think they could have had this spell say with save or die. That's just it. And this would become a suddenly a spell that kills anything sometimes. And it's still really feast or famine. Like the most feast or famine kind of effect in the game. This isn't even like with save or die. This is, it's already close to dead if it's a big threat. And then if you hit the mark at 100 hit points, it dies, you're happy. But it turns out if it's under 100 hit points, other actions probably kill it without spending your ninth level spell slot. Or at least get it close enough that the, the person that goes after you takes it out. Which puts it in this really weird nebulous space where it's like, well, if I try and cast this to get the most value out of it, I might just miss because it has 103 hit points or whatever. If I'm calculating how much HP it has, it means I know that information, which is weird metagaming nonsense. So, like, if you just happen to have read the monster manual and you have a very good memory, it doesn't mean you're cheating. It just means, oh, I, I know how much hit points, hit points this has, and that's going to cause tension and beef and not a good play experience. It's weird. It's metagamey. It's bad even whenever it's, like, at a window where it's online. Like, your paladin will raise something from 120 HP to 60 HP, and you'll be like... Can I, is it worth my ninth level spell? I mean, I put it on my sheet, so I have to cast this because I'm a warlock, but like, it doesn't seem great. Whatever, you could just Eldritch Blast it three times for yeah. 5d10 plus 5 or plus 25, which is gonna kill it anyway. So, like, yeah, this was awful. Yes. All right. Glad we talked about it. <clears throat> All right. Th those were our picks for the best and worst ninth level warlock spells. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Let us know what you think down in the comments. What do you think about our list? Uh, what are your lists? Why do you love Astral Projection? Why do you Let love Foresight? Know. It's the better question, because okay. I hate that spell. I think it's dumb and bad and boring. Agree to disagree. All right. Huh? All right. Thank you, and uh, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.